Yes. Hey, uh, what do you mean by a self-paced course? Well, the course material is available in the form of video lectures, and there are multiple practice problems that come along as well. So you can access all of it anywhere, anytime, and they are available to you for lifetime. No way. Oh, yes way. <sighs> Don't delay and enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hello guys, welcome back. This is amazing channel. This is Avinav. Today we are back with our next problem of the day, which is an easy problem uh, called find triplet with sum zero. It is a problem similar to two sum, where we will use uh, the concept of uh, we can say we can use like uh, has set also, and there are some other concepts of solving that problem too. Okay, so great. So that is the problem. That is the thing how we can solve this problem. First of all, please let me know if I am clearly audible and visible to you all. So that we can start. Am I clearly audible and visible to you all? So you can see that there are multiple uh, ways how to solve. We can solve this problem. There is a way with has set also, but it will take an order of n time complexity. The way how we solve the two pointers question is a uh, something that is better. Okay, so this is a way which is better for solving this particular type of problems. Okay, so we will use that particular way only. Okay, uh, before that, okay, uh, hi MS two. Uh, okay, great. So I am visible now. Just give me one minute. Great, cool. So yeah, so see what we will do, guys. That we will do. What we will do is first of all we will have an array, okay. And to apply two pointers technique, we have to sort the array. That's the first point, okay. So let's say the array is like zero, then it's minus one, two, minus three, and one. So first of all we will sort this array. So let's say it's minus three, minus one, zero, one, and two. Okay. After sorting, we'll pick a particular element of the array. So we'll pick the particular element of the array. So let's say that we have picked this particular index of the array. Okay, this i. Now what we'll do when we pick this i, we will apply the two pointers technique on this particular array. So we will have a pointer i, we will have a pointer j, and just like we solved the two sum problem, we will go to solve this problem. So let's say here we want sum as zero. Okay. So here we have minus three. Okay. So and we want our sum as zero, okay. And here we have minus three actually, okay. So what we will do that there should be some somehow plus three in this particular array, two elements that should be equal to three, so that we can find this particular menu, okay. See, so let's say here plus three is there. Currently the sum is one. We want three, so I will increase my i, and when my i will be here, let's say it is k. So you can see this, this, and this will give you a sum to zero. So we will take one higher set. So we will take one number by a single array, and for the remaining two number, we will apply the two sum concept of two pointers. Okay. See guys, what we will do. First of all, we will sort the array. Okay. Now we will have an array of i. So it is going up to n minus two because we we want at least uh, two elements. Okay. Now uh, this is the first element that we have. Okay, so let's say this is the first number error of i. Okay, we have error of i. So now, so see, this is error of this is the number. So let's say x is equal to error of i means currently where we are. So let's say currently we are at minus three. If we are if we are at number x, we want the minus x. If we are currently at x, so we want the minus x in the remaining array so that our sum is zero. So let's see. We are at x. So the remaining number that we are having is minus x. So we want two numbers such that their sum is equal to minus x. So that overall the sum is zero. So for that we will have a loop of j starting from i plus one, and we will have a k and minus one, like two pointers technique. So j will be just after i. So this is i basically, and k will be at the last. Now for this particular part of the array, we will apply two pointers technique. So while 
k is less than k if a r of j plus a r of k is equal equal to remaining that we want simply return one else if it is so if this particular part is greater than the remaining if this is greater than the remaining so can you tell me which pointer should we move to decrease the sum so which pointer should we move to decrease the sum timing is not changed is it like it's also 12 uh, yeah i started 2 minutes early today also so don't it's not changed actually it's just 12 only i started one or two minutes early i guess today also so it's it was one year one, one minute early so see if the sum is greater than what we want so we decrease k and else we increase j and if for any case it is not possible simple return zero at the last so you can see in this particular manner the time complexity of the problem is order of n square and there is no space complexity and this is the best way to solve this problem the order of n square time complexity and order of zero space complexity there is a way using hash set also but hash set uses order of n time complexity but here it is without any time complexity okay is it clear to you guys clear great so guys this was the problem uh, the problem is very classical problem actually in, in this whole july you will have some classical popular interval problems okay so yeah that was it let's meet again tomorrow with the next problem of the day so let's see what's the problem for tomorrow uh how is it so problem tomorrow is the smallest positive missing number we will solve this problem okay till then i hope you have got this thank you happy coding take care bye bye good night gfg kar lo ho jayega